Okay. So before going down there, I made sure to go kill some dragons. Okay, now forging. This is Faden's ver- Yeah, as, as you can see, it costs 5,000, and you need a mother's horn for each one. I'm gonna do it for both of them. I'm gonna put fire on this one. Fire tends to be one of the more useful elements. Her, I want to do a different element. I think I'll go ice. I, I, you can always change it. I would just need to get more mother's horns, unfortunately. Which can be a time consuming process. Okay. Now, each of those is a 20, is a 10% damage increase. Like, 10% of their damage is, is, like, I mentioned it before. So, whenever Faden swings this thing, it'll do, she'll do an extra 20% damage in fire damage. Which will be just added right onto it. If an enemy happens to be resistant against fire, it just reduces the fire resistance, the fire damage itself, not the actual full damage. So basically, I don't. Even if an enemy is fully immune to fire, it's not going to lessen any of the damage. Any enemy that's not immune to fire is just going to take some fire damage on top of it. Anything weak to it is going to take a fuck ton of damage. Like Mr. Whale. This will allow her to do some pretty sick damage, especially against things that are resistant to physical. Same with her, since she's mostly going to be doing that too. I'm not sure I could have given her a second katana, but I think having something else helps out too. Try save again. All right, now we can go into the four stratum. special statues. Doesn't actually do anything yet. I'm marking it right here so that way I can keep track of where they are instead of like, you know, right here. Because of that, like if it was right there, it'd be there and so on. Because it's not, it's not like there's going to be a space or anything right here anyways. Swordfish. Remember because Sora actually has um, limit up. I can spam this like every other fight. I did the same. Reika is the exact same thing with me ch using charge tactic. Exactly. I don't think there's a way to tell right offhand because they will. Cl the, some of these close behind you. Some of them don't. 
I usually mark them with yellow just to mark that there's a gate there. And then once I figure out which one does what, then I mark it as such. So there's another one. I think this one doesn't close, so... Okay, that one does close. It would be like that. It means that if I walk in that direction, it will close on me. This one's probably down, more than likely. I'm not going to mark it unless I know for a fact, though. Okay, and as we can see, there's another switch right here, which this... brings them all back up. And that's the gimmick for this... pretty much this entire, uh, stratum. For the most part. Hello. Ah, uh, ice. They bind on my party. But, okay, Adrian can get hit by it, but feet up, oh, feet. It just means I can't run away, and that they're guaranteed to be hit by attacks. And Sora is actually very fragile. So FOE is behind some of these things that you kind of have to use as puzzles because they're locked behind the gates. I don't remember if there's actually anything behind that one. We'll mark if there's an FOE there. Because for all I know, it could just be a simple square and with just that in there. I mean, my party could probably kill the FOEs. I mean, they, my party is actually quite powerful right now. I mean, I remember when I had this party when I went through here before on my first run and didn't really have that much of any issues until the boss. And even then, the, I think the boss only took me like two tries anyways. If that. Yeah, the boss took me like two tries or something. Suck on Amrita's next time, because I forgot to do that again. I was about to say, knowing my luck, it would have been this spot right here. If there was a shortcut. Oh yes, here's some um, of our deep sea friends. Why not? She's building that up very quickly anyways. So that sword fills up very quickly because, you know... Um... Getting multi-hits also fills it up faster, like that. It's one of the reasons why I was looking forward to getting her back in my party again. As you walk through the narrow paths in the, of the Undersea Temple, you hear a sound of rushing air. Draft may emanate from a secret path. You wonder where such a path could lead. You decide to split up and hunt for any uh, secret paths nearby. Oddly, the sound seems to be increasing in volume. It's as if it's approaching you. When the sound appears to come directly from behind you, you anxiously spin around. Only then do you see the ominous, enormous snake hissing at you, its tongue flickering menacingly. 
I don't even remember that happening. <laughs> oh god, that hurt! Shit, that's a problem. That went better than I was expecting. Well, granted, yeah, Faden was smacking it every time. Um, Sora was too, so. <sighs> Good old Reika. Still murdering all my really troublesome enemies. That's why she's still, still with me. Sure, there are other characters I could probably work better. Hell, I could do double sh Shogun if I really want to make an absolute an absolute monster but nah I don't need to go that far I like to keep the family together if I can granted right it seems to view everybody as family but whatever Max it out, and then, uh, then I guess I'll be put. Well, Guardian's always nice. Spear skills suck. Uh, body putting more points in Bodyguard could be nice. Provoke as well. Putting points in the actual ninja skills to increase his evasion could be nice too. Decisions. Oh, okay. Look how fast it's already filled back up. Hilarious. It's always shut, so if you go through it and it doesn't move, then that means that it's... Yeah.
thought so. I vaguely remember something about that. Like I said, the elemental damage is just extra, so they're still taking that full physical damage, too. Okay, I was just taking a look at the stuff that's on the thing. None of these are things I'm fighting right now, anyways. direction. More than likely. It's usually the safe bet. It was right here, okay. Yep. Say, just in case you screw up, that sort of thing. Alright, so it's like that. I was about to say, I couldn't. I think it was the first one. I remember guessing the first one last time, thinking that it, the game was just gonna throw me off. Of course. 
Oh, hmm. That's right. That's right. I did have to take this one because I had to block off that. That's right, okay. Yeah, I think that the, this is just literally just that. I believe the one up there was like that too. Whatever that was, like. Right. Okay, I believe it was just like that and nothing else. Skipping this door before. <laughs> Going back to it a lot later. Nice that my memories of this place are at least helping a little bit. Oh right, yeah, it's killing curse damage. I don't have any means of actually casting causing curse, so. Off so I could continue mapping out this area in peace. Oops. Because this is one of those silly puzzle spots that I need to actually pay attention to. There's another switch down that way.
Oh. Damn it. Easy. Who cares about that part over there? I can just switch it over here because the, the switches affect all of them. start running out of space soon enough. Except at a dead end where vines are entwined on a wall. The vines are withered and appear to be dead, but a shriveled fruit is growing on one's stalk. You recall the request to accept uh, you accepted to gather fruit for the clinic. The shriveled up fruit appears to be the item that was requested. You can pick the front of the fruit and the sky vine to accomplish those. Quest. Pick the shriveled fruit from the withered vine before you on the wall. The fruit is much lighter than it looks. You carefully wrap it and sew it in your pack. The request has been completed. All that remains is to take the fruit to the bar. Easy enough. If he went the other way, it would have blocked up and it just would have, I think it just would have, it either would have just turned around and got me, or would have just gone back. Either way, whatever. And yeah, you, know, you can see there's absolutely nothing else in there. <laughs> yeah, 
And here's the next floor. Yay. I'm gonna hit up that real quick so that I can reset the encounter, right? Oops. Reset the encounter, right? Get more quests from the bar. for a puzzle later on. I forgot what the solution to it was though. It gives you something if you get it right. And you get attacked if you don't if you don't get it right. And I think you only get one shot at it too. As annoying as that is. Okay, we're done here for right now. It's a Kudakiri. I should have sold stuff. Hello again, you look happy. Did you get another request done? Oh, this nasty looking thing is it goes into medicine? How very strange. In any case, well done. Take your now take your reward. Gary. Oh, it's a oh it's a it's not a that finds arms, whatever. I'll trash it. Whatever, I don't care. No I'll I'll I'm pretty much never gonna use it anyways. Yo, how's it going? No need to support small talk. We can go straight into you buying me something. Hey, Missy, can I get some water over here? Oops. Did, did that too fast? Colsa Squid is the best, no question. Missy's recipe is so good, I wish I could marry her. I think I just went a little crazy from the flavor. Today's uh, treasure is the dull chest bin. It turned gray from the focused grudge of a big snake head after it was cursed to death. It's not easy to pull off, but the reward can be worth it. Oh, and by the way, you realize this is our secret, right? Don't go telling anyone. Gotta respect the first guy who ate a shrimp. I mean, they look like beetles of the sea. Good thing for that for him. And us. It was delicious. Anyways, see this dried statue? Looks valuable, huh? Turns out it's not that so hard to get. You just gotta freeze the other spawn. Don't tell anyone. Keep it between ourselves. I'm drinking here while I wait for my new husband to return from the labyrinth. Have you heard of an other spawn? It has a cute girl's features, but don't be fooled. It's devious. A group of them will summon dreadful deep one that's dwelling to sacrifice itself. You might be wondering how I know so much about this. My, my newest husband tried to tame an other spawn and was beaten to death by the deep ones. <laughs> oh, what's with those guys? They make me so mad. Oh, it's you. Uh, more and more guilds are forgetting deadlines to the request they take. Everyone's focused on exploring the forest now. Bunch of slackers. Uh, I wish more explorers were like you. Alright, we got more requests. I need a hall on B14. A statue suddenly blocked my way and I can't get any further. Get rid of it. Ah, yes, I remember this quest. Oh, you're accepting this request? Oh, you're such a big help. This one's from Herm. You know the northern wall on B14? When someone enters, the device activates statue monsters. It would be super helpful if someone could figure out how to turn that device off. If someone doesn't do something, this could be causing trouble for a whole lot of people. You know what I'm getting at, yes? Help me, help Herm, and help your fellow explorers. We're all counting on you. Go forth, adventurers. Rumor, ancient city, sent to the bottom of the sea. Ancient means antiques. Give me your rare items. Hmm? Oh, that request is from an antique collector, Wilbur. He wants relics from the Abyssal Shrine, but he doesn't know. But, yeah, but he doesn't know what's down there. Such a stupid request. I can't stand these amateur clients. Get your ideas straight. Anyway, I'm having no idea what he's wanting either. Sorry. He wants one antique item. Your choice. Just bring back some. Just find something and bring it back. The girl at Napier's firm might know something about treasure. Perhaps you should ask her. Well, I trust you'll get, be getting the job done. Go forth. I forget exactly what. I think it's a candle that they want. That's the one that gives the best reward, I think? Oh, it's you. How may I help you today? You're in luck today. I just got in some new armor in, huh? The Abyssal Shrine. Well, it just so happens I have something. I might have something. You're a special customer. A request. Well, all I have to do is turn this in, then. Look at this stylish jar. An adventurer brought, brought it up from the Abyssal Shrine yesterday. Tell you what, since you're such a good customer, I'll let you have it for 3,000 N. No. Hey, don't look at me like that. Okay, okay, you got me. The request, that request from Wilbur, isn't it? He bought an antique candlestick from me recently. That must be the kind of treasure he's into. Go, on, go ask another explorer where to look. The guy 
bought this jar from must be at the bar. I paid, a, I paid a ransom for this thing, too. There's a little fee for info. I'm joking. Don't glare at me like that. Alright, okay, so I was right about the candlestick stick part. Alright, let's sell the stuff I found. It doesn't show the attack, but like I said, that number is kind of worthless anyways. It's just a rough estimate of what your attack is. If you want to know what your attack is, you look at the stats on the actual weapons. Same thing applies to the defense, too. Okay, I think that's weapons, anyways. I don't remember. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty much better. You can't equip that, but you can equip this. Can you lose? Oh, tech. Uh, if it wasn't less defense, I'd definitely go for it. Wait, can she equip hide armor? No. good idea of who I want to give them to. I mean, sure, I can get as many books as I want. They're just, you know, 1% drop rates from the red FOEs. You know, that kind of thing. My party's doing well on TP that I don't really have to rest or anything. Alright, talking, right. Boss, you gotta hear this. Remember the Guardian I was talking about the other day? It got eaten by this gigantic squid. They say it was probably a mutant version of the Overlord squid. It went like chomp and ate it whole. My mind was just blown. It was like no guardian for me. Too bad. Huh? What are you talking about? All that's changed now is I gotta catch that overlord squid. Do you have anything you to say here? Ah, uh, well, ah, oh, it's you. Welcome back to the firm. You haven't turned your faces here lately. I'm starting to worry you might be dead. Yeah, of course I was. Imagine the PR nightmare it would be if you died in APR armor. People might get the idea that. I'd sell faulty merchandise. If he died, it'd be best honorably and naked. Ah, uh, it's you guys. How's exploring going? Well, I hope. Can't figure out a way to get past those steel bars. Well, I have bad news for you because the labyrinth traps get more and more devious as you go. If you can't keep your wits about you outside battle, you're a second rate explorer. You haven't been neglecting to maintain your ship, have you? Smallest oversight could lead to serious danger out in the open, open sea. Never forget that. It'll be too late for regrets when you're about when you're about to become shark food. Amarod was a bigger place before the calamity. The NFC Shrine you're going through right now is also part of the Ocean City back in my day. Hearing about it brings back so many memories. Those buildings are where I spent my youth. Oh. I want you to take this. It's most likely in the Abyssal King's best interest. Ah, the Sorry Shard. He once searched for a porcelain offering. He said he promised a loved one he'd find it. The porcelain offering is formed from starry crystals. My liege gathered them in his spare time. But that was so long ago. The Abyssal King has forgotten everything but his struggle. That's why I th don't think he'll need this any longer. Still, I feel that my liege always regretted never being able to give this to his loved one. So take it with you. That is all. 
That thing is, in this run, that thing is completely worthless and there's no reason to really think too much about it. Um, the reason why I got that is because I uh, promised not to, because I told her that I promised not to tell anybody about the Deep City. But, uh, that alone cannot actually get, that item is actually part of the true ending, but, um, I can't get that, like I said. So we'll have to wait on that one. Unfor unfortunately, that item doesn't carry over for the next playthrough, playthrough anyway, so whatever. Welcome back, everyone. I've been seeing more and more explorers from Armor Road lately. Well, so long as the Abyssal King approves, the Twinkling Tavern will gladly accept any guest. Our doors are always open. Oh, how nice to see you all, Kurohana. Do I seem like I'm in a good mood? Well, I am. I finally got a steady stream of customers. Working at the home office was so stressful I could never realize how bad boredom could be. You have thrown your lot with the Senatus. You have no reason to be here anymore. I have no reason to indulge you in conversation. Hey, but don't forget, no one is more concerned for mankind's future than the Abyssal King. Okay. Alright, let's get back to where we were. Thankfully, the Abyssal Shrine, once you unlock its shortcuts, is actually a very short place. Because most of the shortcuts lead right to the stairs. Didn't think kind of applies to the Fist Stratum, too, now I think about it. Seems very generous with its shortcuts. Unlike several games in the series. Right. Yep, it's right here. The exit, I believe, is like right here. As you stroll through the clearly man made labyrinth, you hear a voice calling to you from behind. So we meet again, Guild Kurohana. I have a message for you. Kudra's words have apparently wounds have apparently healed, and he stands hale before you, keeping a strict watch. It's from the old woman of the Senatus. The Amaranto seems to be in the ritual hall deep within, on the fifteenth floor to be exact. Your objective is to traverse the shrine where the deep ones lurk. After relaying the message, the young man gazes at you with a sardic grin. You have to deal with the deep ones during your journey. You should be used to it now, no? With this, Kudra begins to, a slow walk towards the lower regions of the shrine. I'll continue my own inquiries and let you know if I find anything. Tread carefully. Kudra then disappears from your sight. You decide to keep his words in mind while proceeding. It's one of these two directions, I forget which one. Trap that one in there. It's pretty much the gimmick of this floor, anyways. Okay, never mind. So, yeah. I can untrap it, but if I untrap it right with that, it's just gonna go right back up here. So, that's kind of pointless. Unless I need to untrap it. Ah, more of these things. Okay. Maybe that thing first.
Yeah. Ugh. So I almost died from that one. She doesn't have very much defense, this is her only problem. I mean, I can te technically fix that by making her main. Uh, her. Since she's in Buccaneer class, I could technically just put a gun in her uh, first hand and it'll make all her attacks count, count for the back row. I could do that if I really wanted to. I think she's fine. Trying to figure out which one of these led to a camp or what and whatnot. Randabelle, get at me. Penguin!
It's taking a while, much longer to die than I was expecting. Ah, uh, there's those one thing that they're talking about in town. Ice damage is their conditional. I don't know if the ice katanas count. anti-cold just in case. Oh good, that does, that does count. Nice. I thought that I thought it did. Good. Cause I, I don't think I got any last time I did that. I don't even remember what elements I even put on Sora's sword when I did it. I know I gave Fire a fade in like I did this time. But I don't even remember what I gave Sora. I might have given her electricity.
small crevice is visible on the wall, perhaps we can make it through and pass while okay. I know I had to trap it, I just need to figure out which ones are the ones I have to go through. It's probably, yeah, it looks like it's for the bottom. It's pretty obvious now. Or, well, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not actually really sure. Side. No, no. Nah, I'm not a big fan of that. As easy as you guys are, nah. Not playing by that. Come right after me if I go down there, obviously. <laughs> no. Especially when you reduce my offense like that. Nah. I'll deal. I think that junk pile that I'm looking for is actually somewhere around here now that I think about it. Yeah, I think it's right here! I remember being in the cor uh, upper corner. Yep. See a mountain of junk piled high in the corner of the room. If you recall the request to it, uh, you attempt to find an antique for a collector. These ruins are centuries old. You may be able to find something here for them. 
climb the mountain of rubbish and begin digging through it. Reiko sh lets out a shout. It seems Reiko has found something. Exquisite statue of a beautiful woman. It's unbelievably lifelike. Take the statue back and turn it in or try something else. Nah. You may find a more appropriate item in a different pile. You toss the item you found and begin looking again. I think I just have to keep looking through it. They didn't let out a shout. Same thing. Sora lets out a shout. Candlestick. We're going to wrap this candlestick in a cloth and put it in the backpack. You obtain the item uh, requested by the client and take it to the bar. I know it's right here. I know it's here. This is the statue one. Which I think this is continuing. So let's go back. This spot I ignored, which has... Which might have treasure, I guess. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. What's up? You wake up. Uh... Again, Reiko for killing that one too. Ah. I don't think I have a reason to put that right now. Yeah, the second I put that, that I'm always gonna just go come back. I mean, I know that these this puzzles I, these puzzles are actually easy enough. Um, like for example, um, if I kill this one right here, I can go straight to the exit. Like, it's that easy. Can I, can my party kill it? I don't know, maybe. Maybe, possibly. My party can dish out some pretty serious damage. Yeah. Oof. 